Oh, hello there. Back on the J-Series swap. Uh, it's been a busy couple weeks because of H-Day. As you can see, got some H-Day merch over there. And we are ready to jump back in. I got some bad news in regards to the J-Swap. Uh, so I'm going to show you exactly what's been going on with that. Been having fun with it. Um, so that's that's a good thing. But I've had some downfalls in regards to reinforcement of the motor and transmission. So that is essential when you're putting this 260 horsepower motor inside your EG or EK. So you definitely want to reinforce it. So let me show you what's going on. And uh, yeah, let's jump into it. guys built j back at it so let me show you what has happened uh to my j smop if you can already see i've had some issues on this side you can see it's dismounted so let me get some light and i'm gonna show you exactly what happened all right guys so i was doing a couple burnouts i was having fun you know it was a good time got this baby running uh which it has been running but i haven't been driving it i had to change some injectors they were leaking and long story short hash port mounts destroyed not destroyed but we've had some some difficulties uh after the burnouts so there's a piece of transmission casing so i am gonna uh, send it to a shop so it can get welded and I can use this as a spare uh, But through the downfalls I have come out on top and I have purchased a LSD 05 TL transmission to mate to the 05 TL J32 a3 engine uh, So with that said, I'm going to be swapping out that transmission. It's entirely good The only downfall with that transmission is that the casing is cracked which is an easy fix since I do have the uh, other piece that is broken uh, so i'm gonna go ahead and reinforce this and get it repaired keep it on the side just in case i have have any issues with uh transmission in the near future or later future uh, because we all know that j series transmissions are very hard to find um so with that said like i said i had the casing break over here but the main failure of the casing breaking <clears throat> is actually a failure due to hash port mounts um some people say that it was the bushings i use i use street bushings but like i said i only did a handful of burnouts it wasn't like i was doing uh a lot of burnouts so <clears throat> this one failed you can see it's all eaten up all right guys <clears throat> so this is the cause of my failure if you can see this look at that right here it's pushed towards the transmission side also over here is pushed so as you can see the mount is twisted and it is compromised well i shouldn't say the mount but the t-brack has been compromised you can see the welding on the t-bracket has been compromised it's broken right there and it's uh <clears throat> it's done for and you could also see that the hash port mount that is also done for it's all chewed up you can see the other half over here on this side um, and that's just that's rubber going so unfortunately i had not a catastrophic failure but in the sense of the mount failing it is a catastrophic failure especially knowing that hashport is supposed to be a reputable brand but what I'll have to do is I'll have to start from square one and restart, pull the motor, motor's coming out, and I am going to swap out the engine mounts again. Not sure if Hashport's going to cover it or not. Most likely they won't. They'll say it's my fault or some other jazz. This is what I'm thinking, you know. So I'll have to replace the T-bracket and I'm going to upgrade the mounts not the mounts but the bushings inside the mounts because the bushings are 62 mounts uh bushings and they are for street use so everybody's telling me um 
to upgrade the mounts to racing mounts or a higher uh, strength, a durability, should I say, of um, bushings. So I'm going to do that as well. Uh, so that's going to take some time. So I'll do that. And then I will restart and reset and see if we can get all this stuff rectified and get back on the road. But as of right now, I have had a big failure in regards to these mounts. I am going to tell you now, and I'm only going to tell you once, please do not get the 62A bushings on the hash port mounts. They are complete trash, and you can see why. And if you do do a J-swap, I highly recommend reinforcing uh, the motor, which I'm going to be doing later on, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to be putting a traction bar. I'm going to be putting uh, a support for the front of the engine, also a support for the back of the engine, um, as well as one that's going to pretty much cradle the transmission. So I'll have it mounted at these two points, but I'm also going to go put a piece of metal on the side, and it's going to mount to the bottom right there to those two mounting points which normally go to the a-frame on the accord or the tl so you can use these as an extra support so uh with that said that is what i've been dealing with and uh, i'm gonna pull the motor and we're gonna get this thing you know like i said back to square one and we're gonna have to reset and reevaluate and reinforce so it's a lot of re's <laughs> so stay tuned uh we got a lot coming and this thing it was fun when i had it running unfortunately this downfall has stopped me and i have to stop reevaluate and reset so that's what i'm gonna do i don't look at it as a bad thing this was intended to be a race car or at least a fun car so that's what i did with it and unfortunately Due to me not reinforcing the motor and other things, you know, I was I had too much uh, trust in the hash port mounts, and unfortunately, that was my downfall and that was my fault. So there's nobody else I can blame but myself. Uh, but I am disappointed in the quality of these 62A bushings on the hash port mounts. Uh, so with that said, guys, stay tuned. We got more coming. Do not run just hash port mounts. You need to reinforce your J-Series motor because these are pushing uh, some odds of 250 horsepower and more because when you modify them, obviously, and you tune them, you're going to be making more horsepower. This is completely stock, if anybody is wondering. It's a completely stock open header. It stops midway pretty much underneath my gearbox, and it is on a stock ECU. So I wasn't making tons of power for me to really destroy and twist that T-bracket the way it did. Uh, so with that said, stay tuned, guys. I got more coming for you. I'm going to be tearing this thing out, and you will see the process.